Anywhere it's real niggas around, I'm right at home. I don't want mama seeing me stress. Tired of these handcuffs, I just needed a rest. Got a lot of feelings that I can't really express. But who can I turn to when nobody being direct? Home don't feel like home when nobody cleaning they mess. Under the rug is right when things get swept. You said shit that I don't think you regret. And you done done shit that I don't even accept. The system is a setup, they trying to keep me upset. These bitches is a setup, they trying to keep me upset. These niggas is a setup, they trying to keep me upset. This industry is a setup, they trying to keep me upset. No, I am not in the set, but I ride for what I rep Pay homage, stay humble, boy, I'm about my respect Still get a lot of love when I'm inside of the jet Tryna brighten up the hood with this shit shining on my neck When we live shot, he's aiming your roof and a nigga get by In his life, he ain't wanna lose it, so he gon' sit proud It's time he make it with music so he can win Get a bit, it's probably naming Respucia It's a big body, sick by me And a few real ones that stick by me If I'm doing too much, homie, don't sit by me Vacation bars is something you gotta deal with no matter how many of you niggas is at work right now, it ain't gonna equal up to this chill shit. Yo. Don Marino versus Gunpowder Pat. Cool little battle, man. It was cool. Clearly a PG for a reason. Niggas got some shit to work on. Iron out the kinks. Don Marino had a choke. He had some stumbles. My man Gunpowder Pat had some lazy bars. He wrote it kind of lazy. I went back and watched the skates battle right after this one, right, to try to see the difference between him then and now. He wasn't angry in this battle like he was in the the skates battle. He was aggressive. He was in the nigga face. Like, he was in this nigga Don Marino face, but the bars wasn't angry. He wasn't spitting that, that hungry shit. You feel me? One thing I think he could benefit from is writing in your spare time and then taking those bars later and recrafting them to fit your opponent. Like, not to say that I'm a battle rapper on no, on no battle and shit, um, but I do little text battles and shit, and I like to write my shit early, and then if I can cater it later towards my opponent, I'll do that. So it's like, I think that's something Gunpowder Pat could definitely benefit from. You cannot take your opponents lightly he wrote a lot of lazy shit, shit that was reachy as fuck. You get your shit caught, my fist caught. I'll beat the sweet out this nigga for letting his pin go. <laughs> um, it was cringy to hear that shit. Like, my nigga, you on URL saying shit like that? That shit's crazy. Um, the first round was obviously Gunpowder Patch round. Um, you can't choke. Don Marino had a choke in that first round. Um... The nigga Gunpowder Pat had really one good line in the whole round that I fuck with. I know that saying? Step on the crack, break your mama back. Yeah, I see that shit real clear in the track. So much crack getting stepped on my mama in a wheelchair. The rest of it was just, it was, it was nothing. It really could have just went without. It was a bunch of filler shit. Um, Don Marino was clearly on the path to fucking this nigga up in the first, but he couldn't get his shit together in that first round. I'll give you a chance to run away if you're on board, but you know you gotta be gone by the time I get the uno. 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 Now I get wild and draw four. Um, in the second round, Gunpowder Pat picked it up a little bit, but still more lazy writing, um, more content that really could have just went without. Um, and then Don Marino picked it up and kicked his fucking ass. My abilities, paranormal activity. Now I got a late powder down for y'all to see my next step. Oh. One thing Don got to do is he had a nigga in his entourage, um, was on his phone and shit, right? So while Don was trying to get through his shit, um, when he would do little stumbles or fuck up a word here and there, you could see it on the nigga face. Like, damn, he just fucked that lineup. It's like, my nigga, you can't have niggas on your entourage giving you up and shit, basically. Like, we may not notice that you fucked up. We may not know. But when niggas make faces and shit and be like, oh, like, damn, they do shit like that, nigga, you fucking up his momentum, like, on camera. So it's like, you got to be careful with shit like that. But Don Marino still clearly got the second round. He fucked him up bad in the second in the second half. Um, he referenced the bar from the skates battle that Gunpowder Pat did. The Uber pool line. That shit was fucking fire. Street shit. Try not to get your bean hit. I don't like Uber pool because I might get in the car with a nigga that I got beef with. <laughs> and I don't use Uber pool because they never have enough. 
your seats for the familia. You got to study your opponents a lot better. And I feel like Gunpowder Pat didn't really do any of that. Um, he didn't really take much from none of Don Marino's other battles and use that shit against him. Um, that Don flip where he used to nod his head slow, like that shit was kind of lazy. He had a lot of lazy moments in his battle. Um, but in the third, again, it was clearly um, a win for Don Marino. In that third round, Gunpowder Pat was okay. He was a lot better. He had jokes. The noogie and the barbershop shit was pretty fucking funny. Um, he had some other funny lines, um, but that's just not going to be enough for a nigga who can really write. Um, I think one of the things he need to take away from this battle also is that uh, you have to care more about your writing um, when you facing a nigga who can outbar you. You have to put more emphasis on that instead of the jokes. Like the jokes is going to hit regardless because it's just in your nature and sometimes that joke shit work in your favor. Niggas expect him to be funny. You feel me? So sometimes some of the shit you say, it may not even necessarily be funny. But because niggas know you to be funny, some of the shit you say, niggas is going to laugh at it regardless. And you're going to score points off shit like that. Just like, like a nigga like JC. Everything ain't 100% cold. But because you are who you are... You're going to score points on certain shit that otherwise you probably wouldn't have if you were somebody else. Um, like, comment, subscribe. But like I said, it's a PG for a reason. Niggas got to really work on their craft. It's your man Fatboy checking the fuck out. I respect the culture. I advise you niggas to do the same.